What is going on, guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome, and today we're going to jump right to it. But I'm going to put links down in the description below if you want to take a look at this car that we'll be talking about. Just hop over to, or you can go right to our website, OMGRC.com. But we're going to click on pre orders right now. And uh, we are still taking pre orders on the Nissan Skyline from Kyosho, and we are trying to get more of the Dodge Charger Supercharge. This is the brushless one. These are all Kyosho. They're all 110 scale we're going to be looking at, but we're going to focus on this Mustang. Just want to kind of give you a backwards of uh, previous videos that I've made. So check those out. So um, yeah, man, let's go ahead and click on this Kyosho Phaser MK2 Ford Mustang. So this is the GTR 2005 Drift T1 110 scale ready set. I want to let you guys know, anybody, if you guys are new, to RC or not 100% sure. These don't, this particular car and the other ones I just kind of showed you, those are, they don't come with any battery or charger. So just kind of keep that in mind. Make sure that you read the requirements. You can run like a 2S LiPo battery and then you're good to go. And then as far as the charger, up to you as far as to what charger you'd want to get. By. But um, yeah, let's take a look at this vehicle. Uh, like I said, we are taking orders, pre-orders on this. Again, coming in March and April, we should be seeing these things coming through. So if you do pre-order one, that should be when you should expect yours to come in. But uh, things can change without notice, so just kind of be aware of that. Um, so what do you guys think about this vehicle? I like it. It's got the little Kyosho branding on it. Uh, I like the little bit of like that little bit of flair that's going on here. That big wing looks pretty cool. I like it. Um, it doesn't have any LEDs in it, so there are some price reduction. That's why this price is where it's at, just because this is a uh, less thrill when it comes to uh, the body itself, right? We're not getting LED buck LED light buckets. We're keeping it pretty simple on that part of it, but doesn't nothing in difference and in performance when it comes to the brushed version of it. And uh, you can always change this thing out. Like if you're like, oh, I like it. I like the price point, and um, cool. And you can always go with just the rubber wheels eventually. He's like, hey, I like the sliding around. It's pretty cool, but kind of want to change it. So you can get wheels, man, for like 10 or 15 bucks. Just look around. And um, super cheap. So you can always change that out. So don't feel like you're restricted to just sliding around or anything like that. But um, yeah, I like the styling on this car anyways. Um, but here we go. Let's take a look at the chassis for some of you guys that are kind of new to the Kyosho lineup. Here we go. Brushed motor, our electronic speed controller, on and off. Got a receiver hit sitting here. And then underneath this little plastic piece here is our servo. We got our plastic drive shaft. Uh, keep in mind, you can upgrade this too, this plastic drive shaft. There's a few different options, meaning that uh, Kyosho offers an upgraded aluminum one. And also there's another, there's another vendor that uh, offers a steel one as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, Dean or T style connection, however you want to call it for your battery connection. This thing can run on a 2S LiPo. If you run this thing on 3S, you can expect smoke to come out of that motor. So just be aware of that one. So it's not a matter of, uh, it might, it's a matter of when it will pop. <laughs> so I've already run mine on 3S before. It's pretty fast. Gets up to almost close to 40 miles an hour, but that motor gets hot and smells and then decides to kind of let out the smoke. So definitely don't want to go there. All right, so battery strap for your nickel metal hydro battery or light bill. You can change this. There is this ES electronic speed controller. It does have a little jumper, which will allow you to go from, let's say, nickel metal over to lipo and that. So you want to check out your instructions, read up on, on that when it comes to, depending on the battery that you stick in there, like I said, a 2S or up to, I, I believe, an 8.4 volt nickel metal hydro battery, if I'm not mistaken on that one. But nonetheless, this thing's cool. Um, Loom cap shocks. I like the suspension on this thing. It's great. The only thing I would say as far as suspension-wise, um, just the undercarriage I'm going to get to is this Velcro strap. That's the only thing is that over time, you will wear this thing out, uh, at least where I'm at. You get a bunch of little pebbles, and I'm sure that's where pretty much everywhere. It's got all these little rocks, debris, and whatever else. You're going to hit that, and it does wear down your little Velcro strap on there. So just be mindful of that. If anything, maybe by putting it a little bit of tape over it just to kind of prolong that. Or if and I'd like to see Kyosho change that, like maybe make the holes on the inside. So this strap just stays inside of it and uh, makes that all kind of work. 
because right now it's just, yeah, it gets hung up. Not really hung up. It does have like a little lip here to, to kind of deflect things that are coming this way. But once that wears out, yeah, then it's after your Velcro strap. So there you go. Pretty easy to work on. I got to say, this is a pretty nice vehicle to work on. Not You can see right here, not a lot of the screws. Very nice. So I think it's well designed. Pretty simple to get to stuff. You're not having to take a crap load of screws out to get to things. So I would say it's a pretty easy vehicle to work on. I've worked on them a little bit because normally they're pretty good and pretty darn reliable. So I'm very happy with the platform that Kyosho went with. Uh, they had a version before. This one is less expensive and it's been proven to work pretty darn well. So I'm happy with it. Aluminum cap shocks, springs. I'm, You know what? I straight out of the box, I'm very happy with suspension wise, to be honest with you. Um, you got these little bumpers here just to allow the car not to turn too far. It does have dog bones. They do have options to upgrade these to swing shafts, which are aluminum. And it's not really going to, they're just going to stay in there more. Like if you hit a curb, which I've had my friends hit curbs with this chassis, and you do have the tendency to potentially pop out that dog bone, but um, pop it back in and you're all good. So I, I haven't seen anybody, you guys can chime in on this one if anybody else. Me personally, I don't normally bang into too many things. I try to run in an open parking lot because we know if there's a pole in the parking lot our cars are going to hit it right it seems to be the, always the thing if there's something that's there you're going to hit it there's a hole in the parking lot that i go to i always seem to hit that no matter what so it's just try to stay in an open nice clear area when you run your rc car so i think some of you guys might want to know like oh how fast do these go i think they go roughly around like 25 miles an hour now a drift car you're not going to go that fast because you're just going to be sliding around or whatever but again you can always put rubber wheels on this thing. Cool. If you decide to even change the body on it, uh, they do have these little extenders, these uh, rotors here that um, they have different offsets. So they usually come with like a zero and then a plus five. So that'll allow the wheels to stick out a little bit further. So that's kind of cool. So check that out. If you get one of these cars, you got like a little goodie bag of parts and stuff like that. And those would be in there to extend those wheels out a little bit further to accommodate different bodies. So that's pretty cool. But like I said, I'll put links down in the description below so you guys can really check this out, read it up at your own leisure. But um, digging it, uh, you guys let me know what you guys think about it. But we are taking, like I said, those pre-orders on this car. So definitely check them out and uh, see what you like. But until next time, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you real soon. You guys take care. Thank you again for watching. Peace.